Hi guys, my name is Brendan Connor. I'm a cardist, and I'm the creator of the move Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is kind of a in the hands, lapoly, spready, under pressure y thing that I came up with quite a while ago. I'd like to give a shout out to Kevin Ho for really seeing the potential of the move, also coining the term and the name Buzzsaw. It's a very knacky move, it's very straightforward, but a lot of people seem to have trouble getting the mechanics down. So, this is what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. So my friend Alex of the December Boys is gonna be giving you tips and pointers how to get this move down. It's really fun, it's really fidgety, um, it's really flowy, it's really beautiful. And I'm gonna pass off the tutorial instructions to him because I suck at teaching. So I hope you enjoy the move. It's a good one, it's my baby. Um, yeah, so enjoy. So thank you, Brandon. Uh, finally, so many of you have requested us to teach this move and uh, there wasn't really a proper tutorial on YouTube anyway. And uh, I really like this move and I hope uh, you will enjoy it as well. So now let's get down to the explanation. So for the bus, so I would recommend you to do it with a borderless deck because it accentuates fan in motion. And actually this is a based on lipol spread and uh, it looks really cool. So if you have a Z deck, it would look even better. So basically what you do and the main prerequisite for this move would be a lapel spread. So the pole spread looks like this and um, we have a tutorial for S-shaped lapel spread by Dan Buck on our channel. So I'd recommend you and learn that first. Without properly mastering the technique behind the lapel spread, I highly doubt that you'll be able to perform the bus saw. So to perform the bus saw, you need to hold the deck in your left hand in the high straddle grip. Uh, with your right hand, you have to adjust the deck like this and uh, you have to hold it with your middle index finger and over here is a thumb. And uh, what you will do, you will squeeze the deck with your index, middle and probably with your uh, ring finger as well. And the cards will fall down into your right hand, into your receiving hand. So this is what it looks like. So basically you're performing the motion that you're using in lapel spread, but you're pushing only on this part of the deck. With your right hand, you're preventing the cards from falling down and your thumb is just holding the deck over here on this lower edge. And uh, you squeeze the deck. And unlike with lapel spread, you want the cards to fall down over here. You don't want them, them to go straight. What you do for that, you use your uh, ring finger on your right hand and actually middle finger and index finger as well to guide the cards to fall in the semicircle motion. So you press and perform this kind of gank sign with your right hand and let the cards fall. And of course your thumb also serves as a pivot point over here so the cards are kind of falling down. If you don't squeeze, they will fall down on their own. But if you are squeeze, you'll get this even motion of cards falling into your right hand. It's actually really easy if you know how to do the lapel spread and all you have to do is just follow what I'm doing over here. Some people love to do it with two fingers because you will open more cards to the public, to the camera, and they will see more of the cards falling down to your right hand. You can do this with your two fingers only. Uh, but I, will li I like to do this uh, with my three or even four fingers over here. Just squeezing the deck. And my right hand, the position of my right hand is about that. So the cards are falling onto my ring finger and my thumb prevents the card from falling and the cards are neatly collected with my right hand like this. So, like this. You can also finish the bus saw uh, by continuing the rotation of your right hand. It just uh, enhances the overall spinning motion of the cards and it looks really cool. So what, when you're finished with the bus saw, the cards have fallen and uh, you have, can just twist your wrist like this and uh, continue on with the move. It looks really cool. So now let's watch it from other angles and uh, in slow motion as well.
So I hope you guys like this move and uh, make sure to leave a comment and let us know what other move or trick you would like us to teach in our future videos. Subscribe and watch another video over here.